Before we get started, make sure to turn on post notification and subscribe to the channel. WWE Survivor Series 2018 Predictions Survivor Series Tag Team Match Raw vs SmackDown WWE made the right decision in making this match the pre-show match for the pay-per-view as taking one look at the lineup will show you just how weak the entire WWE Tag Team division is with the real lack of star power across the board. While there are tons of talented teams involved such as The Revival, The Club, and Sanity, the booking has meant that there really is only The Usos and New Day that have any real star power about them. For the Raw side of things, the lineup looks incredibly weak with the entire set of teams nobody cares about. Given that all of the Raw team was destroyed by Braun Strowman on his own this week, it wouldn't make sense for the team to win, and therefore the blue side should take this point. Survivor Series Women's Match Raw vs SmackDown The traditional Survivor Series matches continues with the women's in what is a tough match to predict, as is usually the case for the Survivor Series matches, and this one isn't any easier, especially given that SmackDown still has a mystery member to be announced. WWE has a chance if they want to make a major statement to bring someone from NXT to the main roster to take the final spot on the team, potentially Shayna Baszler depending on who loses at TakeOver War Games. However, with the Raw team having a lot of heels and a lot less star power than the blue brand offering, we will be predicting that Page's team walks away with the victory. Shinsuke Nakamura vs Seth Rollins If they are given the right amount of time, there's no reason this can't be the match of the night, which might be exactly what Shinsuke Nakamura needs at this point in his career. After treading water since coming out of his feud with AJ Styles, it's a first time ever match, not just in WWE, but the two men haven't wrestled before outside of the company, which makes it an incredibly exciting prospect and hopefully, they have good chemistry together to make a quality match. With Rollins currently engaged in a major feud with Dean Ambrose, there's a good chance his former tag team partner could come out and cost Rollins the match. And that should benefit everyone as Nakamura needs to win more. AOP vs The Bar This is possibly one of the least exciting matches on the card, just because there hasn't been much build to it at all in terms of promos. But all four men have plenty of quality which should make an exciting match. A lot of this is going to come down to the people on the outside with Big Show in the bar's corner and Drake Maverick backing up AOP, creating a slight David vs Goliath situation around ringside. Having two heel teams against each other is never something that's massively appealing in terms of fan reactions, but it'll be a hard hitting match for sure. With AOP only just picking up the titles and being the bigger opponent, it would be good to see WWE keep pushing them as a dominant force. WWE Cruiserweight Championship match Buddy Murphy vs Mustafa Ali It is great to see WWE future a cruiserweight match on such a big pay per view and the match should really break things up with it being the only championship match of the entire night and one that isn't built based on brand supremacy. This match is going to be kept at an electric pace and features the two best talents on 205 Live which should make for an incredibly exciting bout and considering they have had some match of the year contenders against each other before this one should be fantastic. Buddy Murphy has only just picked up the title yet Mustafa Ali is the biggest star on the show making it an incredibly tough choice but having Murphy continue as champion and establish some dominance would be a smart move. Ronda Rousey vs Charlotte Flair This is one of the matches that had a big change at the last minute due to Becky Lynch's injury on Raw and it is a huge shame as it was likely going to be the main event and was the match that everyone seemed to be most excited about. Despite the last second change, WWE has managed to put together another dream match in Ronda Rousey vs Charlotte Flair and even though there hasn't been time to create any real build, the star power alone should be enough to get people excited for this one. It is always difficult to predict anything other than a Charlotte victory but given that Ronda Rousey is the only champion in this match, it makes the most sense for her to win, keeping Rousey strong and her undefeated run going. Daniel Bryan vs Brock Lesnar Another match that was changed at the last minute after Daniel Bryan defeated AJ Styles to become WWE Champion creating another huge dream match that fans have been hoping to see for years. This should be a fantastic match and is something that Daniel Bryan has gone on the record to say many times and there will be certainly be a huge clash of styles. Brock Lesnar always tends to work better with smaller talents and that should lead to an excellent match. There's no doubt that people are excited for the match but there's also an element of concern when it comes to Bryan's neck and Lesnar's style but hopefully both men will work safely and create an incredible match but just as he did against AJ, the beast will reign supreme. Survivor Series Men's Match Raw vs SmackDown While there's never a match of a feud heading into these types of matches, with brand supremacy only being discussed for a couple weeks in the year, 
For the past two years, the male Survivor Series matches have been incredible. With the laundry list of talent involved here, this should be no different and hopefully all 10 men bring their A-games. There will no doubt be plenty of infighting and controversial eliminations, but it should be a very fun match. This match could end up closing the show and being the decider and which brand ends up winning this year. And given that WWE has its big Fox deal coming up for SmackDown, having the blue brand earn the dominant win would be a good way to push the show.